Hey, what's up guys? This is BMB and a new tutorial. Today we have a special announcement for all of you guys since we will start a special giveaway in our YouTube channel every month. So all what you need to do is to write a comment in this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel and activate the notification button to be informed when we post our next video to announce the list of winners. About the gifts, we will select one of the posted commands of this video and we will send to that lucky person an Arduino board and then we will select another command to win a 30 US dollars free coupons that you can use to order some PCBs from GLCPCB. And we will provide also coupon codes for PCB ordering discount in every video we post. As I told you, all what you need to do is to write a command right down in this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Today's tutorial is about the use of Bluetooth modules. You saw in many of my projects that I always use Bluetooth to interface with my robots and gadgets. And today, I will show you how to edit the name, password, and other Bluetooth parameters. So let's get started. Starting with the project description, we will customize the Bluetooth module parameters. But how could we communicate with the Bluetooth modules? Like many other devices, Bluetooth modules accept the communication through AT commands to configure them settings like name, password, baud rate, and other settings. But what are these AT commands? Back into the year 1981, Dennis Hayes invented a specific command language to interface the Hayes smart modem device. And this command language set consists of a series of short text strings which can be combined to produce commands for operations such as dialing, hanging up, and changing the parameters of the connection. From here it comes the idea to develop more and more the Hayes set or the AT command set to interface more devices using some sort of prefix character. Like the other devices, the Bluetooth modules has AT command mode where you can interface them using AT commands to set them parameters. The most popular Bluetooth modules are the HC06 and the HC05 module which will be used in our tutorial. It's hard to distinguish between these two Bluetooth just by seeing. But using a breakout board, the difference is on the pins. For our HC05 module, we have all these six pins. Key or enable, this pin has to be pulled high to enter AT mode. In our Bluetooth module, we already have a push button so important to establish the pull high set of the key pin. Then we have VCC and GINED for power supply, RXD and TXD for serial input output data, and the state pin. Just ignore it because probably it's not connected to none of the Bluetooth pins and we will not need it in this tutorial anyway. I will use the Arduino board to send the serial AT commands to my Bluetooth module. Before moving to the schematic of our circuit, let me tell you that this tutorial is sponsored by JLCPCB, the largest Chinese PCB prototype supplier. These guys has a real good production system and ordering PCBs using them website is super handy. So I advise you to visit JLCPCB.com and check the cool offers and the many available coupons for new users. So here is how to wire the Bluetooth module to the Arduino. All what it takes is the pin number 3 from the Arduino to RxD of the Bluetooth and pin number 4 of the Arduino to TXD of the Bluetooth, GIND to GIND and VCC to Arduino 5 volt. Moving to the software part, as I already mentioned, we will be using Arduino board to communicate with the Bluetooth. And here is the Arduino code for serial communication. Once we power the Arduino, we will have the Bluetooth LED blinking fast in an interval of half of a second. That means the Bluetooth AT mode wasn't entered. So before powering the Arduino, just hold the push button, press it, and then power your Arduino. As a result, you will have the LED blinking slower in an interval of 2 seconds which indicates the successful entering of the AT command mode. Now we run the Arduino cellular monitor or any other serial monitor like TerraTerms to start sending the AT commands. 
You can get this document from the download link in the description below to show you the available AT commands list for our Bluetooth module. Before starting any updates, let's search the current name of our Bluetooth. As you see in my phone screen, the name is a bit confusing and it needs to be customized. The same for the password because the default ones are already visible here so anyone could easily hack the Bluetooth. In order to start the settings, we run the serial monitor and we set the baud rate to 9600 and both new line and carriage return. Now if you send the characters 80 through the serial monitor, you should get a OK response from the Bluetooth module. We will start by setting the boat rate to 9600 BPS and to do so we need to write 80 plus UART equal 9600. Then hit enter. In every successful operation you need to get a OK response from the Bluetooth module. We will change also the Bluetooth name to device1, so we write 80 plus name equal device1. And we will change the Bluetooth password as well to 2020, so we write 80 plus PSWD equal 2020. Now we search the Bluetooth using our smartphone, and as you can see on the phone screen, the Bluetooth is visible by its new name, and when we try to connect to it, we need to enter the new password. Many other AT instructions are available regarding the use of the Bluetooth module, so all what you need to do is downloading the document attached to the link in the description of this video and read it to get the right AT command that you need. Following this tutorial, you will be able now to customize the Bluetooth of your robots and devices, and you can run them like professional. About my coming tutorials, you can suggest some themes in the comment section below. Do not forget to thumb this video if you like it and to subscribe to my YouTube channel for the chance to be the month winner of the giveaway program. One last thing, make sure that you are doing electronics every day. It was BMB from Megadas. See you next time.